Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the DeWalt 12 volt impact driver versus the Hilti 12 volt impact driver. All right, now for those of you who think that I favor a certain brand, I do not. I love all tools and my love for a particular individual tool is very circumstantial. All right, in this case, I prefer the DeWalt over the Hilti. The main reason why that is because the DeWalt has a speed selector on this tool. The Hilti is variable trigger only, which to me, that is a major downer. And I, I prefer, majorly prefer to have a speed selector on my tools than a variable trigger only. Because it's easier to control instead of just having that. One thing I will say is in a previous video, when it comes to this style of a screwdriver with a quarter inch hex collet that the DeWalt also makes in the 12 volt system, I prefer this one because the DeWalt is a variable trigger only and the Hilti is a speed selector. So my love for a certain tool is very circumstantial. In this case, I prefer the DeWalt just because it has the speed selector. Now, if Hilti and DeWalt, either, either of them or both of them watching this video, you guys need to make better batteries for your tools. Hilti only has a 2.6 and a 4 amp hour. DeWalt has a 1.5, 2, and 3. The Milwaukee M12 system has a 1.5, 2, two versions of a uh, 3 amp hour, 4 amp hour, and a 6 amp hour. All right, you guys need to compete with that, and you guys need to make bigger batteries. We need more than a 3 amp hour, which is all the highest DeWalt makes, and more than a 4 amp hour with the Hilti makes. So you guys need to seriously make bigger batteries for these tools. All right, so let's look at the specs really quick, and uh, let's get to it. All righty, so the DeWalt... This, it's a nice little tool. I love this tool. I love the design and the power that it has. And it's, it's small and compact. And I just flat out love on how it feels in the hand. It feels very sturdy in the hand. I seriously love this tool. All right, so the model number for this is DCF801. It is a three speed setting. It has uh, self tapping or screw mode. I'd like to call it screw. It has low and high. All right, it has a 12 volt brushless motor. On self-tapping mode, it is zero to 950 RPM. On low mode, it is zero to 1950 RPM. On high mode, it is zero to 2850 RPM. And the impacts per minute is zero to 3600. All right, so that's pretty, that's pretty darn good for a 12 volt tool. Try LED, LED work light on the front. It's only on for a few seconds. The fuel gauge on the battery is on the battery, which I love. I'd rather have that than on the tool, like the Milwaukee. I hate Milwaukee's battery uh, system on how it, it's actually displayed. Love the fuel gauge on the battery because you don't actually need to put the battery in something to find out what the life is. All right, but that is the DeWalt. It's a nice little tool. I love it. I love it. Like I said, it feels really good in the hand. And yes, the housing for the hammer is metal galvanized metal, and that is the DeWalt. All right, so for the Hilti, this is variable trigger only. The model number for this is SID to A12. Of course, and the housing for the hammer is metal as well. Quarter inch hex collet, four amp hour battery. The battery is full. I, I do love the design of this as well. It's also small and very compact. It is not heavy. So this is variable trigger only. It goes to zero to 2,750 RPM, which that is approximately 100 RPM less than the DeWalt. All right, I do not know what the impacts per minute. If I could find a reliable source for the impacts per minute, I'll put it in right now, along with the torque. And yes, it does have a dual LED beam, LED lights on the base pointing upward towards your, towards your work area. And that's it's, uh, lights is a nice feature to have. I do love both of these tools, but I prefer the DeWalt because of the speed selector. And so, all right, so let's uh, put these tools together and let's see what these can do. And we are going to be using a torque test. We're going to we are going to see on how well these can bust a nut at th uh, 30 foot pounds, and we'll go from there. All right, so thirty foot pounds. I'm not sure if I could focus in on this. It is at thirty foot pounds. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, I just had to reposition really quick. 
All right, so let's see what this can do. All right, it's in reverse. All right, ready? Go. Nope, unsuccessful. Play it to low. Unsuccessful. Let's put it to high. Time. It did it. 30 foot pounds of torque it busted. That's awesome. There we go, 30 foot pounds. And the uh, Hilti is not a push and cow. You have to adjust it for it to go in. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, go. I'm wondering if that's just a little over torqued. Really quick. Let's tighten that back up. There we go, that's 30 foot pounds. All right, let's continue with the Hilti. Ready, go. Succeeded that time. About my Milwaukee pack out. Like I said in a previous video, I love this thing. Grab two of you. Then we're gonna go to the log after this. Alrighty, we are gonna do the DeWalt first. We are using the 5 16 nut setter for these six inch specs on a, it's perfect. All right, so here right here, we're, we are gonna use high speed. Right here is good. Oh, the battery is full. All right, so ready, go. That is for the DeWalt. Hilti is next. And like I say in every video, I do not know what the results are until I edit the video. Do it right here. Battery is full. All right, ready? Go. All right, let's take it out. Let's see who has more power in reverse. All right, so ready, go. Time. It is Hilti's turn. All right, so ready, go. All right, next I will be using, uh, like I said, uh, Hilt, Hilti's not the only one that company that makes this, but I'm using a, a bit holder with a collet. So as soon as you push the, the bit in, it locks it in place. Alrighty, so let's do a six inch lag. Right here is good. Gotta play a little balancing act with this one. All right, so ready, go. Time. Hill T is next. Right here is good. All right, so ready. Go. Time. 
Let's see who has more power in reverse. Ready? Go. Time. I love 12 volt tools. I really do. I really do. It just, it keeps amazing me on how much power that they actually have. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All righty, so let's move on to, you know what? I wanna do something different in this episode. I'm actually curious if these could drill out a one and a quarter inch speed bore. I'm actually curious. If these have the power to do this smoothly, let's find out. I'm gonna add something to the impacts as well as along with the torque. Let's see if this could actually drill this out. All right, so ready, go. It did it. It did it. Not too shabby. It did it. Uh oh. Time. Let's do a temperature reading on that. 99, 89, 100, 105. Got up to 105 degrees so far. All right, so let's see if the Hilti can do the same. That, see, it doesn't have a push and call it. That, that push and call it makes a big difference. Instead of just, you know, getting to work by pushing, you actually need to adjust it, hold it in place, then, oh well. Uh, uh, put not, that being not a push and call, it's a, a big, it, it's a big deal to me. I like push and call it. Variable trigger only. All right, so ready, go. It did it. It did it. Let's see if I can easily take it out. Oh, I'm sorry. The temperature for Hilti, 97, 109, 109, if I can find it again, 111. 111 degrees the Hilti got up to. Alrighty, so very quickly what we are going to do is we are going to do two timber locks in a row for each of them. Battery is at two bars. That's so already go. Time that is one. Do one more about right here. All right, continue. Time. All right, let's do two for Hilti. Battery is at four, four bars still. Ready, go. All right, let's continue. All right, ready, go. Time. 
All right, let's take it out. We're gonna do this on one timer. All right, ready? Go. Right, let's continue. All right, so ready? Go. All right, time. Continue. Time. All righty, so now there, obviously there's a one amp hour difference between three and four, but the uh, it's, it's hard to tell with DeWalt because DeWalt only has three bars and uh, everyone else has four. And so there are two bars remaining on the DeWalt. All right, and there's three bars remaining on the Hilti. I wanna give the DeWalt as much advantage as I can, so I'm actually gonna put this on charge because of the three amp hour to four amp hour difference for this last task. So I'm gonna put this on charge and I'll be back. Alrighty, so the battery is charged, it is full. I think the six inches are too power are too much for this. All right, so let's do a four inch. Here is good. We're just gonna do a four inch. Scratch the six inches. I think the six inches are too too much for these. All right, so ready? Go. time it did it all right so battery is at three bars on the hilti ready go time that did it that did it oh we got it it's locked in all right let's do the dewalt let's have the dewalt take out take out its four inch lag all right so ready go Time, time, time. Alrighty, so let's have the Hilti take out its, its four inch lag. All right, so ready, go. All right, that's the, these are, like, like I said, 12 volt tools are very powerful for what they are. I seriously love 12 volt tools. Now, both of them did exceptionally well but yeah but like i said i do not know who won i find that out while i edit the video uh but i besides that because of the uh speed selection i would go for the De uh the dewalt because i like having speed so uh selection and so yeah but like both are awesome tools both are fantastic i'm glad i have both of these in my arsenal uh, i still have to do against these makita bosch uh i think i did milwaukee already maybe 
uh, I got to get rigid, uh, whatever 12 volt tools, because 12 volt tools is my favorite. So that's what I'll be get. Uh, that's what I'll be getting. The Dewalt Extreme line is actually the uh, is actually a good at a good price. Two batteries, charger, bag, and the tool for like 130 bucks. You know, like some sell for a hundred. You know, like you could get tool only as well over at Lowe's. Now, yeah, this is sold at Lowe's. And so you cannot get this at the Home Depot. The Home Depot got the Atomic line and Lowe's got the Extreme line. And so, yeah, I prefer the Extreme line over the Atomic. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this quick video against each other. You guys saw the results. You guys can make your own decision on if you love 12 volt tools as well on which one to buy, or if you just found this video entertaining. All right, so please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.